Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I've got a few things to share with you. There's recently been a lot of deals on with it being Black Friday. So I've purchased a few things and I've also got some magazines to share with you. So I think we'll start with the magazines first. So I've got this one here. So all of these magazines I was sent for free because I featured in these ones. But a lot of people enjoy seeing the newer magazines that are out so they can see the gifts because it's really difficult sometimes to see what you actually get free because a lot of them are sealed in plastic and you can't open it. So this one here is the... Papercraft special. <laughs> I'm trying to see what it was called then. And I don't know if this has got an issue. Oh, it's the very first one. I should have known. This is a premium magazine, RSPB issue number one. So a, the kits are great, these, because you get everything in here to make everything you see in the magazine. So I'll take everything out, first of all. There we go. So you get a lovely bumper pack. Yeah, issue one. <laughs> I clearly didn't read my... Um, my brief for this very well because I would have remembered that otherwise there are beautiful inspirations in this I've already had a flick through because I wanted to see I always like to see obviously how my own cards look they always look so much nicer when they've been professionally photographed um but there's so much in there so we'll flick through that in a moment let's have a little look at the gift so you get your stamp set so it's not quite an A4 size but it's bigger than A5 it's a nice one here you get your birdhouse You've got your different birds and the sentiments there. And then you've got a die that will cut out these two here. So it's that one and that one. And you've got some little sprigs there as well. You get the embossing folder, which is your twigs. You can stamp and have the birds, um, you know, and cut them, have them sitting on the, the tree branch there. But I also thought it looked like antlers. So you could get creative and have that as a festive embossing folder as well. You get this sheet here. There's two. So you've got one with your foiled frame and then one with the plane. Again, lots of sentiments. So if you're someone that enjoys having things already done for you, these ones just all pop out really easily. And then you can pop them up on some foam or just stick them directly onto your cards. And then inside the magazine, it's a really nice thick, you can see there, you get lots in this one, including the papers. So the papers are uncoated. So you can stamp onto these and ink them up. And I'll give you a flick through. So you get two of each page. So the first half and then it's just doubled again. So you've got some that are festive and then some that are all year round a nice one love the lighter blue that's in that one you've got some snowflakes i think this is gorgeous i think that'll work all year round and uh, you've got a nice like spring one there i love the flowers and pine cones and the wood grain and you've got this pretty one and then it starts again so that's the middle of the the magazine so you can literally pull out that whole middle part put that away with all your papers and then you've got your magazine there to enjoy so i was commissioned to do three cards so all of these you would have seen before they've all featured on my channel so we've got the the dome one here which was actually the editor's favorites that was nice to know and i've just used the toppers there and i cut some gold mirrored card to frame everything then this one here's the spanner or they've called it the, the swinging center card it worked really nicely with that larger topper and that's on a five by seven you can see I've used those pretty papers there. And then this one here is the, is it like the reverse easel or something? I think it is. They put it as the Robin stepper there. And again, using those toppers. So I focused, that was my my brief, was to focus on the, the topper sheet there to give you some inspiration. But very quick, these cards as well. None of them take any time at all. And then Vanessa's brief looks like it was maybe more focused on the stamps and the papers. You can see the birds here. It looks really pretty, that Robin, when it's coloured. She has some heat embossing 3D makes. You've got the arrow card there. Some really lovely styles. And then Mel always does some wonderful 3D makes. So you've got this birdhouse that she's created. You've got another mini little birdhouse box, gift box there. And she's done that one. And then again, you've got some other styles here. So there's, I mean, heaps of inspiration in there. So if you love nature and birds, then I think you'll enjoy this one. It's a really pretty set. So that's everything in this paper craft special. And that's issue one. So this one here is the Arctic Adventure All Occasion Card Kit. Try tonight, 56 elements. It usually tells you inside your kit, four card blanks and envelopes, 14 papers, 30 toppers, 3D foam pads, two acetate sheets and bonus glitter. Now my mum loves these kits. She loves the Hunky Dory kit. She loves the magazine kits when ev where everything's done for you. And she can just take everything out, lay it all down and then just go from there and decide what she's going to make. So I'll just show you exactly how much you get in here. It's coming to the time of year where, I mean, these, I don't know what the, if these were ever in any of the Black Friday deals. Some of you might have already got these for a bargain, but 
we're coming obviously you know into the new year which means january sales you may be able to pick some of these magazines up cheap so keep an eye out but you get your papers here so it, it looks like these are more for like your five by five size cards so you've got all these different i've not seen this at all my commission wasn't to use the free gift it was to do something else really nice i love the the purple and the blues together there some lovely little seams so you've got those there's your sheet of foam pads these are your envelopes and that's your card blanks you've got acetate and then that's your card blanks so we've got a bag of glitter which is great for your snow you've got more acetate there so there be inspiration on where to use all that but these are the toppers this is what my mum would go straight to i'll probably end up giving her this to be honest really lovely i love this um like holographic white or white glittered frames that they've got on those silver in this kind of thing's more my style i really like i like it i think it looks cool you've got congratulations let it snow birthday wishes love the penguin this one here i think they're all different oh no it looks like you get two of each yeah two of each one so you get those ones things like this are great for like the spinner card where i used i think it was paper boutique but if you've got two that are the same there you can do great spinner uh yeah spinner cards my dear friend you're my northern star that's nice i've not seen a sentiment like that before winter wishes and then you've got this one again that penguin so cute love the owl i love you very much you're my northern star so that's again in a different font oh no tell a lie so it looks like two of that one and then two of those that are the same. It doesn't say contents on the back. There's a lot there anyway. I'm just seeing if I've got any stuck together. No. It just seems strange that you get two of those the same. Anyway, let me know if yours is the same as this. And then we've got, oh, so there's larger papers. So you get this one here. Reminds me of a Bob Ross scene, that one. These ones. Love that one there smaller little four by four cards i love how they've printed that because that actually until you touch it but it looks like watercolor card and then you've got that one there as well it's nice for slim line you can cut that in half and have that on two cards so those are all the elements inside so i've got kind of two features in this one they asked me to do an interview and i've done a really nice commission using the fun at the fair because that relaunched so you there's a 15 percent off made to surprise offer in here which i know many of you have taken advantage of you let me know i think one lady used that and her 10 percent from craft world membership so she was getting 25 percent off and she was like this is brilliant so it's always worth looking out for any discount codes on your favorite brands because you can really save yourself some money so this is a nice example of ways to use what's in the kit you can see lisa's done some lovely cards she's got the easel circle easel that's nice. Way well, she's got the three different size penguins together. Nice uh, Z fold. You've got this stepper style. This is nice with the open aperture with the message inside. This is those ones. And then this was my very colourful spread. So I revisited my fun at the fair collection and made some new styles here, or well, new colourways, should I say. Then I made this large box here. If I don't get the glare, there we go. It's probably better. Large box there. So it's to look like the circus tent pop-up box card, which some of you may have already seen. And then there's bits in the background there. That was the popcorn uh, bag that I made with the stripy papers. And then I done a little interview here. So this is Meet the Maker. Quick fire questions. And uh, yeah, just a few people messaged me saying, oh, it was nice to find out a few other things about you, Sam. So um, I also wanted to show this one. This caught my eye. It's very much my kind of style here. And this is Santa's workshop. Nikki's just looks like she's had loads of fun, gone mad with these papers here, which is Craft Consortium. Lovely little um, like wreath kind of style there. Bows, big boxes. I recognise this card, <laughs> tiered stepper card. Really nice. I love it. Absolutely love the scene that she's created there. I think it's worked perfectly. And then, yeah, she shows you how to make them. Oh, there they are. They're little tree decks. I think it's adorable. I mean, it's a lovely kit, that Craft Consortium one. So there's a little Christmas Eve box. Yeah. So there you go. You can find out how to make all of that as well. So that was Papercraft Essentials issue 206. And that's with that free Arctic Adventure kit. 
And then this one here is Simply Cards and Papercraft. This is issue 224. And the exclusive gift in this one is this stamp set, which has the doves. And you get the die here, which will create this style here. So I actually made a few cards and one of them that I loved was a spinner card. So I'll show you that in a moment. So you get 142 must try ideas. You can see that one on the front and then there's the like the excess or they've cut like an aperture there and made a shaker card. So Helen's done a lovely commission here using all of her new Christmas stuff. There's that lovely wreath box. I just love it. And um, mine's filled now and it's under the tree. Um, what else? Look at these cards here. By Glynis. Look at this one. The detail in that and the dimension, all that glitter. It's gorgeous. And then here's the ones I did here. So mine were kinetic. So they all like to have some kind of movement. So I've used some of my Mater Surprise in this one. So we've got the five by seven white um shutter card there. We've got the twist and pop, the swing card. It worked perfectly. That one was really nice actually with the dove moved lovely in that one so if you've got it and you've got the um the dies it's a really and it was pretty quick to do that one as well and then this one so you would have seen that one on my channel it's been another popular card style and this one i just adore it it, it worked beautifully this the sad thing is is once you send your commissions off you very rarely get them back because they go off to be photoed and sometimes they get recycled and used in features in other magazines as well so but i loved that one i just and it was perfect thinking of you i also thought it was you know nice for just you know get well sympathy that it just had that kind of feel to it and um yeah thoroughly enjoyed making that one and then this one i made this pop-up box card so this kind of moves as you open it and it's on some very strong like construction acetate in the middle so the the dove is always upright and it just folds into that small, I think it was about four, no, it's 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. So four, yeah, about four by four, I think. Um, but yeah, again, heaps of inspiration in here. You can see some other styles there. That's another beautiful one, like with all the layers. So that is issue 224 of Simply Cards and Papercraft. Next, I want to share everything that I got in the one pound sale. So every, I thought it was every year, but I think it might be twice a year. Craft Stash will do a one pound sale for one day only or until stocks last it pretty much always goes in the first day there may still be the odd thing around but most of it's gone so first i've got these in bottom folders i thought i had one more as well literally everything here was one pound only so this one is this is all creative which is now creative craft products so they've just changed their branding is now blue and obviously the name's a bit longer though so this one is graffiti in bottom folder this is um five by seven i've got the star 3d stars there and then this one here, embossing folder for him. I thought it was quite a nice one, just with all the different sentiments all over. Then I've got these stencils here. So I've got two New Year's resolutions. Now, I'm not one to really ever set New Year's resolutions, but I think in my crafting life, I need to. So one is to use more stencils, and the other one is to make more scrapbook layouts. I've missed doing those. I enjoy doing them, so I'm going to make sure I do more. So I picked up these ones here. This one is probably my favourite out of them all because... When you ink this all one way, you can move the, stance, the stencil the other way and then use another colour or the same colour and you will get darker tones where the colours overlap. So you can create just normal stripes or you can have grid effect like a plaid, checkered, all that kind of stuff. It looks really nice. So I'm glad I've got this one. And then, so that's Daisy May and then this is the same with the flowers. And again, you can move that and rotate it and, and, uh, and get some different kind of effects. And then this one here is the Wonderful Web. So it's a five by seven. I have no stencils or embossing folders for Halloween. And I have, I think, three, maybe four at a stretch stamps and a couple of dies. You see me rotate and just recycle the same stamps year after year because I only do a few projects each year. So I don't ever feel I need a lot. But when something's a pound, I thought that was quite nice. And it's a little bit feminine. It's like a soft spider's web so um yeah i thought that was quite a fun one to have and then i've got these two here which is card making magic these are huge these are a5 stencils so you've got your trellis and leaves there so they are all going to be popped into my stencil storage i have planned to make a larger stencil storage as well because i have eight by eight stencils and these will not fit in the stencil storage that i've already shared and made so that again is on my list as a project for the new year so i've got those ones and then here are all stamps. So they're from a mix of brands. I use sentiments all the time. I mix and match my collections. And sometimes I'm after, you know, that specific size or shape. If you watch any of my craft alongs, you know, I'll be flicking through all my sentiments looking for that, you know, exact one. So I'm really pleased with these. There's a lovely variety. So these are your wiry words. So these are by Creative. 
Happy Mother's Day, Father's Day, celebrate, blah, blah, blah. It's just the size, a little bit different. You've got Christening Day as well. And I don't think I've got one that says Christening Day. I think I've got Happy Christening or just Christening on its own. But the, that, you know, the way that's written, I quite liked. And then I've got this one here. Happy birthday just for you. Hello, thanks, blah, 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 blah. But I just thought, again, really nice and a little bit different. Then these ones here are the Pretty Quick, which I think's finishing. I think Pretty Quick. Yeah, I believe that this is no more. So this one's Rick Rack Panel Stamp. So I love the bold sentiments. You make me happy. Live, laugh. You've got some ones that are on their own, like you. Sometimes I want to use a stamp from something and then, you know, like it might be a large thank, but then I need you. So <laughs> it's just, I, I always love to mix and match. So I think um, I will definitely be pulling these ones out. And then I think these are nice for gift tags and toppers. So you could you know, stamp that in a light colour and then maybe ink that over the top or heat emboss it. Just for you, thinking of you, for being there, for everything. And then the circle one there. So all of those, I believe, will probably fit in there. I just thought they're nice. Again, just easy to use. And then these ones here are Apple Blossom Winter Wishes. It's just the size, they're small. Sometimes I do, I need tiny, tiny, tiny. This one's nice, sending you hugs, kisses and get better wishes. Haven't got that one. It's a nice little rhyme. Wishing you happiness today and always. And lots of other little ones there as well. And I'm going to sort through all of my stamps. And if I find that I have maybe got something and there's a few that are kind of similar, I will put these into the giveaway pile for when we do the craft alongs every week. Because at the end of every craft along that I do, I select a winner and someone receives a gift and a card from me. This one's probably my favourite out of them all because it's got these circular ones and I've got maybe three circular stamps and I actually go to them quite a lot and I just thought it'd be so nice to have something a bit different and new. So you've got the one that says best wishes all the way around and then this one says happy birthday all the way around and then you've got a few others there and I love these ones that are arched. Again, something very different, don't have anything like that in my stash. A couple of butterflies, can't wait to start using my butterflies again. Um, I kind of feel after summer I kind of just stop using butterflies and then start picking it up again in January. This one's nice with the big feathers. I don't have any large feather stamps. Um, I think these are going to look beautiful heat embossed. I'm using like watercolours and things like that. Love the, the wreath effect there. Don't let life ruffle your feathers. That's really nice. Sincere condolences. Think of you and your family. And then there's this one here, which is kind of like the circle ones. I think I'll use this a lot. You've got your frame here, but again, that's so easy to cut out. You've got happy birthday, send in love, with thanks to you, send in birthday, wishes to you, and on your special day. Diamond sentiment stamp set. And then this one here is beautiful baubles. I imagine this was maybe a coordinating... Oh, it says there. Used with beautiful baubles die set. But there's some really dinky ones here, which are great maybe to stamp on envelopes. But you've just got some more nice sentiments. It's more for the size. There's a lot of things here that repeat and I've already got the sentiment, but it's the sizings and that's where I always struggle. Sometimes I want that Christmas word, but not in the size that maybe I have. So like I said, for a pound, it's just good to have. This is lovely. Love that big one there. The more candles, the bigger the wish. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Happiness always. You're special. Thanks ever so much. Again, I don't think I've got a thanks ever so much. I don't think I've got it written like that. Congrats, you did it. They're just all really handy, great ones to have. Now, these two I know went with um, embossing folders that they did. And I think, if I remember rightly, the embossing folders went mad. Probably a year, 18 months ago, they went absolutely crazy. It was when Jeanette was doing the Craft Stash Lives. And um, you would stamp this into the, the space and the curve that was in the embossing folder. But again, I just loved the shape of them. And I thought, well, I can easily cut that shape and, you know, be creative and use it in other ways so this one's achievements and then congratulations i'm not going to go through them all you can see all the different ones you've got there but lovely big stamps you know there's always going to be that one time when i'll do something and i'll be like oh i, need, I wish it curved so good luck in your new job that's a nice one there and then this one here simply made crafts I mean, I'm from England. I live here. So I thought, why not get this stamp set? I've got a few that I've got. I think I've got the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower and things like that. But I don't have Tower Bridge. I don't have Houses of Parliament. Red telephone box there. Um, Double decker bus. I've got Big Ben. Pretty sure I've got Big Ben, but not that size. So I can do something with that. And uh, I think I've got one taxi because I've got it in a larger and it was a creative stamping stamp set it was the lovely um 
can't remember what it was called, but it, time for tea maybe. Um, so I know I've got a bigger one of that, but I just thought it was quite nice. The street lights there, a couple of trees, the presents and stuff. And then this one here is just another great one to have. I haven't got a big motorbike and I know one day someone's going to say, oh, he loves motorbikes. Can you make me a card? Yes, no problem. You've got your golf set of golf clubs there. This little image of the tool, tool um, little caddy, saw, different cogs, hot air balloon. You've got your cricket bat, some lines there, pocket watch, bolts. And then just, I've got those all listed somewhere, but they're more in a scripted font. So this time it's more blocks. So again, it's just going to work with different um, occasions. This one's from 2018. This was part of a magazine. Um, would have probably been simply cards and paper craft. Or possibly, I could be wrong, maybe it's Creative Stamping. If anyone can let me know if they maybe had the magazine that this would have come with, let me, um, yeah, let me know because then I can um, label it correctly. Then I picked up some ribbons. I actually got these last time they'd done the pound sale. So they must have either ordered more in or they just had loads. <laughs> so the yellow's beautiful. I use that in a lot of my summer, spring, summer makes. Beautiful turquoise. These are two inches wide. This is one inch in the pink there. And that's all card making magic. Then there was a lot of the sassy crafting going. And now I loved when um, Emma would release these. She doesn't do it anymore. She she works for Cricut now. And she, um, she does, well, phenomenal work with Cricut. But I always loved her style. It was bright and colourful. And with me wanting to make sure I do more scrapbook layouts next year, this is what it's perfect for. So there are these 12 by 12 pads, like I said, all a pound. That's just really fun. You've got all these cut apart. So if you like your journaling and, and memory keeping and things like that, you can use those. But the papers are just really fun and colourful. So there's some nice holiday ones here with the watermelon. You've got some nice polka dots, bananas. It's funny because Charlie loves saying banana. That's like his word. So like if I was to do a scrapbook layout with him eating a banana, you know, it's a lovely background. Pineapple. And then you've got a mix of the fruits there. And then you've got this one, which is Christmas. So I'm going to put this away for next year. I'm not even going to touch this now. I'll keep it. I might do a little mini album or just use it for Christmas cards. But again, there's some nice ones there. You've got the snowy scene. You've got the... You've got the snowmen there and Emma drew all of this so it was all of her artwork little snow globes the tree on the car there and so on then this one here it's a good one for all like when I go out with my mates really I've got so many great photos that I still need to scrapbook but there's dancing the disco ball cocktails shoes so I just know that I will use these music, put on your dancing shoes. They're just going to be great for when I do my scrapbook layouts. Happy hour is the best hour. The amount of photos that I've got of me and my friends with cocktails in our hands. And then this one here is Let It Grow. And I thought this would work really well with my perfect plants that I've recently released. So grow through what you go through. I will survive. You grow, girl. So it's just, again, some nice ones you can see on the back there, how they all look. And then this one here was another great one, which I know I use because <laughs> if I haven't got a cocktail in my hand, I've got food. So you've got your fast food one here. Slice, slice, baby. Fries before guys. Let's get takeaway. You can see them on the back there. Burgers and pizza. Lollies, ice cream. Lots of pizza slices. Love the sprinkles. Again, that's a great paper to use with my sweets and treats um stamps as well so i can you know mix and match which i like to do and then i've got a few bits to match what i've got there so this is your ones that, you know the these are your little ephemera so i've got one with the plants i think i've got one for each one that's the christmas one that's the um the dancing one let's say that's your takeaway food that's the plants yeah and that's like the holiday one with the fruits and stuff so i've got one of each of those so I'll be able to, you know, pop them on foam and back them with cardstock and add glitter to them and stuff. So they're going to be nice. I'm going to get myself some storage to put all these away in. And then these are all your sticker pads. I don't think I had, I couldn't get one of them. So it must have been the plants. Yeah, I haven't got the plants one. But you can see here, just the, the characters dancing. They're all stickers. They're going to be great on the layouts. 161 stickers. You've got washi strips there. You've got lights, disco ball. And then lots of little stickers there to the disco. So I really, you know, I can't wait to use these. Loads of different fruits and all the food there. And then this one, it's got all the takeaway foods there, slices, some funny little puns. And then there's the Christmas one again. But as I showed you, if you've not seen my sticker tutorial on how to make your stickers go further, you can do so much with them. These I will be sticking onto cardstock and making them into ephemera. So I have more things like this. 
these are great if you've got journaling and you like to you know you're a planner and you can just stick them straight onto your your pages but for me i'll be using them as an ephemera so i want to make them a bit stronger and then i've got some washi tape so this is the christmas one i think yeah but it's not in the packaging i mean i'm not bothered by that i'm going to take it out after i film this anyway but this one was for the plants i believe because it's got that washi but do you know, the reason that it's sold to me is for this one <gasps> just absolutely love it and then there's an orange one here we go oh look at that holographic or iridescent kind of coating on the orange there so those two are like my faves and then i love these glitter ones and then you've got the Christmas one and then the leaves there. But again, they're great to, you know, add on to your scrapbook layouts or on your planner pages and stuff. And then I've got this one. I've just taken it out of the plastic there. But this is a Lisa Horton Crafts and it's Scandi Christmas 12 Top Sheets. Now, this is going to go into my giveaway pile and this will, you know, sit there now for a while. I'll give it to someone nearer to Christmas next year. But look, there's lovely little, these are all on cardstock. You pop them out. You've got your festive sweaters there. Got the Christmas trees and the hearts bunting it's quite a cute little set actually my mum would probably see this and want it you've got little gift tags there circular little toppers and then you've got some papers so again these are going to work for if you're doing any little mini albums but on your um but for your smaller cards these would be great you can see there just flick through there and it says just 12 topper sheets and then the papers but I'd never seen it before. I don't know if it was part of a magazine, maybe. It looks like a nice thing that would have been a freebie in a magazine. So, again, let me know um, if you have it. And, you know, was it just sold on its own or was that, you know, in a magazine? And then this was another amazing Black Friday deal. So for one day only, I think it was on the Thursday, they had all of the papercraft society boxes at half price so this was 13.99 so i got the textures one by lou collins i've actually put a lot in here it comes in a beautiful box and i will link the unboxing video so i haven't shared it yet but i will link it when it goes live so it will pop up here and you'll see all of it in there but this one is for quilling but you obviously don't have to use that but there's like hardboard or chipboard pieces here you get a texture paste there's uh, i think it was brushes or something there's a few other bits and pieces you've got stencils all sorts in there so and because this is winter themed i don't feel pressured to get this used and you know um before christmas really i can start using this in january and february and still make some lovely cards i do want to try and get something done with the snowflake there because i was thinking about having a hanging tree deck but i can always do it and then maybe use it and um you know enjoy it for next christmas but yeah so there's that one like i said look out for the unboxing of that i also picked up this black card here which was again a pound it's just great for mats and layers and I use a lot of it for my Halloween make so I've just stocked up on that so I've got there's 10 sheets there's 30 sheets sheets there for three pound and then the last couple of bits this was actually a gift so I've sent a Christmas gift yes I have opened it early but I'm glad I did again I would love to try and use this before Christmas but I thought it'd be quite nice to maybe make some gift tags so it's a layering stamp set so you get um you stamp this one then you stamp this one and then this one so there's three and then it will give you this layered cookie look and I just thought it was wonderful and I just love gingerbread and this kind of theme and it was very much you know where I went with my paper craft society when I designed that so yeah hopefully I'll get to use it if not it's definitely going to go to the front of my Christmas um stamps and stuff so I remember to use it you know straight away next year and then these are just a couple of bits I've picked up I went into hobby craft these are things for next Christmas I've used a lot of stuff from my Christmas stash this year so I just wanted to grab a few bits ready for next year I loved these these are part of the hobby craft range these are Santa Claus toppers I think they're wonderful they may get used this year so you might see them but if not like I said they'll go for next year but I have got an idea so they, like I said they may get used these I thought were lovely they only had the one pack left I ideally would have liked two but I just like these toppers. They're great for quick cards and crackers and things like that. And then these, when I'd gone into Hobbycraft, oh, you know, a month or two ago, they never had these. Otherwise, I would have got them then and I would have used them in my crafting. So I just love the colours. But I've got them and these are going to be used for next year. But these are adorable little felt wreaths. I just loved the colours. I think I want to tidy up the ends there. I like to seal mine. But um, it's got a little bell. And you can see all the little rhinestones in there. I just thought they were adorable. So I've got eight there and these were a pound each. So they've got a little foam adhesive on the back. But I'd use my hot glue anyway. But yeah, just tidy them up a little bit. But they, I think they're really, really sweet. I got some more of these because I've already started using a lot now with my gift bags for Christmas bags. 
these are your paper strings and they're great for handles when you're doing any of your 3d projects and then i've got this one here i think it was 50p i don't know why um because i thought it was not in the sale but anyway you get 15 meters of the red there it's just always handy especially christmas time and then these i got at my local um kind of homeware st stores called chaplains but i want these for my 3d makes next year I've done everything now this year, but these are just adorable and they are, they're for cake decorations. But if you ever want any little miniature figurines, and any kind of Christmas theme things, go to the cake decoration section because you'll find it. And it's great for making, you know, wreaths and putting on cards and 3D projects. So I've got these and they look vintage, you know, they've got that kind of brushed metal gold look. I just thought they were really cute. Um, so I've got a few of them. They were reduced. They were um, £1.79 and then they were reduced down to a pound. So again, I'm going to get some storage and I take all of my theme stuff out of the packaging and I'll put it all into its little kind of pockets and then it's easy to see when I want to use it next. So that's everything. So I will try and link to as much of this as possible. The pound stuff, I think it's still going. I don't know how long for. So maybe if there's stuff left, it then might go back up to normal price. But check the links below. You'll be able to see what they have. Um, I should be able to link to the hobby craft stuff, but obviously pop into your store and the magazines. I'll be able to link them. Um, like I said, I don't think they've sold out. But yeah, let me know if you've got any of this. Let me know what you got in the pound sale because I know loads of people took advantage of that. And lots of you were like, Sam, thank you so much. I've just got some Christmas presents or there was lots of kids stuff there. And I've actually, I also got that as well. But that's gone into hampers for my nephew and my best friend's little boy. They both asked me if I would make them craft hampers. So um, there was loads of kids stuff in the pound thing as well. So I got that. And um, yeah, it was really nice. Some lovely bits. But yeah, there you have it. So thank you as always for watching. Look out for tutorials using this. Like I said, most of it is going to be for next year's crafting and the scrapbooking, which I'm really looking forward to and using more stencils. And prompt me. If we get maybe a few months in, you're like, Sam, I haven't seen you use your stencils. Then let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.